Hi guys welcome to my channel before starting subscribe and like the videos it really helps a lot the content from this video are taken from the web novel and manga series of Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation now please enjoy the video. Part 4 After lunch, I returned to strolling. However, since I couldn't think of a place I should see, after I took a rough tour of the school building I turned around, I went back to the library. I hunted for more documents related to the metastasis event. But, to begin with, I have not really ever used the thing called a library until now. Just searching for the documents, I had used up a considerable amount of time. The librarian hands me a book list to look over. One book had the word metastasis in its title, so I chose that book. Also, I found a book from the sea race I sought out. All of it took about a few hours. Moreover, the book I got is not a detailed account with regards to teleportation, and has a great deal of difficult words and technical terms. It's written in a language I don't even know, if I don't read this book carefully, I will lose out on the majority of information. For the time being, if I'm going to be doing a proper research, I would like to at least have a notebook. Reading, learning, and memorizing all have their limitation after realizing this, I get permission to keep the book for now, and I left. It had already become evening outside. All the students who were done being taught their lessons began to head back towards the dorms. There are a few who also seem to be heading to the library. I braved the oncoming flow of students and went towards the canteen. The canteen, it is in the vicinity of this school building. Rather than a canteen, it felt like a corner drug store. When I went inside, there were several students merrily shopping. When looking about, roughly, there were magic textbooks, magic stones, robes, wooden swords, training wands, and etc. placed out for sale. Even daily necessities like bags, shoes, and soap were also placed out for sale. Again, even food such as dried meat and smoked meat, and bottles of drinks such as sake or drinking water were placed out for sale. In short, it gave off the feeling of having had just about everything one needed. I make a proper purchase of a bunch of paper held together by a cord, ink, and pen, and then I headed back. In the first place, I wasn't shooting to buy these many things in coming to school. Honestly, what was I coming to do here anyway? Of course, it was to treat my illness. I still have no clue where to begin treating this matter. After I finished making my purchases and went outside, the surroundings were dark. While something like a streetlight was non-existent, the normal road was dimly lit, so it could be walked without an issue. Even though winter is over, there is still a bit of remaining snow on the road. While watching my step, I hurried along the road to the dormitory. There is no one around the surroundings. Though I can hear some clamoring in the distance, I got the sense that I had strayed off into a place where people don't normally go. In the case of the schoolhouse in front of me, it's the women's dormitory. While it's near the men's dormitory as well, the road that leads to the men's dormitory happens to cross in front of the women's dormitory as well. Without thinking deeply about it, I just press on walking. And then, mm. Suddenly, something dropped from above. It was white. However, it was not snow. I caught it by reflex. Oh oh you, when I expanded it, it was a pure white cloth. It had a little decoration, but was not too showy, giving off the impression that it was neat and clean. The traditionally respected name was panties. Someone may have possibly been trying to dry them in the shade. I thought that if I looked up, I had the feeling I might be able to see the owner of this missing item. However, because it is dark, I cannot make out a face. But, I saw a form, e, e. too, did someone lose something important? K-Y-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A
This person gave off that kind of impression. The width of her shoulders was nearly twice my own. Is she a beast race? Instead she's likely a demon race. You are perverted trash. To the confused me, she spat that. I was suddenly insulted. That doesn't seem like the actions of someone who is supposed to be the sage of the forest. What? What is going on? Why am I suddenly being treated as an underwear thief? Certainly, as a 15-year-old boy, I have an interest in underwear. But, I wasn't trying to steal them this time, I didn't even smell them. I just had grabbed it before it reached the ground is all, I was only trying to return it to its owner. Please wait a minute, I haven't done anything. Haven't done anything. The gorilla girl grabbed my arm. She's got huge hands. If it's nothing, then what do you have in your hand? There is a certain item in my hand. A face was made, about to say that it was the evidence in question against me. The surrounding stairs are filled with hostility. My feet start to tremble. Those, those are Ariel Sammer's underwear aren't they? Even if someone like you admires the princess, you must have no shame at all to do something so brazen as that. To Gorilla San's caustic words, the surrounding girls pour on the jeers towards me with things like that's right. Hentai. Go die. What the hell, I am already crying now. Listen, don't come this way, someone like you should repent on their actions, and never be allowed to do these kinds of things again. I am pulled along, being caught from arm to shoulder. The only resistance I could put up was the tracks in the dirt the bottoms of my shoes left as I was being dragged. The power of the women's dawn. Even though I had been building up my muscles, was the difference in our muscle strength really that great? I am being dragged into the building, as it is. Am I about to be subjected to a horrible lynch mob? I'm being falsely accused. Should I run away, even though I didn't do anything wrong? If I run away, will rumors spread widely? What should I do? This is like the feeling of being falsely accused as a train molester. Can I make them understand through talking? However it's probably already too late for that, no, at times like this I need to remain stubbornly confident in my innocence. I did nothing wrong here. Thinking so, I used earth magic, and firmly affixed my feet in place. I immediately stopped being dragged, and the gorilla makes a surprised face. I was going to fight through the misunderstanding. He, what's this, planning to become violent? Even though you are just a shitty, shameless underwear thief. Against this number of people, do you think you can win? Maybe, I wonder, while I get the feeling I won't win in the way I want to. However, underwear thief, if I get violent here, I will have the label of my person changed to that of an underwear thief. It's a false accusation. However, if I get violent, the false charge would likely change into something like rape and pile up. Then, the current false charge becomes lost entirely. I might be dealt with in some kind of appeasing move by the administration, could be driven in a corner to the point where I would have to withdraw from school. How annoying. What good can come out of this? Wait a moment. Stop the arrest, wait for just a moment. It was the voice of a boy with a high pitch. Fitzsama. E. Fitzsama. Fitzsama talked. What's going on here? Parting the crowd here, was a small boy with white hair and wearing sunglasses. It was Fitz. I am sorry that underwear I was just trying to air dry them after I cleaned them, and they accidentally fell down. He only picked them up because of my mistake. Fitz stands between the gorilla and me, while panting heavily. And took the trouble to explain what had happened. Gorilla made a snort and humph. Fitz. Sama, I already know that Ariel has entrusted you with taking care of washing her undergarments. However, the gorilla continues. That and this are a different story though. This guy, at this time of night, was walking in front of here. It was decided already that after sunset only women can go down this street. Oh, is that how it was? I didn't see any sign mentioning that. I who look puzzled, gave a backward glance to Fitz. He is a new student, a special student with a single room so he didn't have a roommate who would have explained that minor rule of the dorms to him yet. Will you please overlook this matter for me? Fitz was desperate. I also felt the desperation in his voice. I somehow want to know why. The gorilla faces this direction. Is it the truth, or so she was about to say? I nodded moment by moment. The gorilla had gripped my hand for a moment still, Fitz's face was also looked at. HMPH, since Fitzsama is defending you here this much. It might be the truth. 
However, it is also true that you violated the agreement of the dormitory. So you still need to receive a punishment as a lesson. As she said that, she tried to drag me again, but her movement was stopped. Before anyone noticed, Fitz had pulled his wand out. And it was pointed at Gorilla's face. I'm pretty sure I just said he wasn't in the wrong. Listen up, you better take your hands off. Fu, Fitz, Sama. A voice that has anger mixed into it. The surroundings became noisy. Even in the dark, I could understand that Gorilla's face was going pale. Or perhaps, everyone here would like me to send them to the medical office. So cool, I also want to be able to say something like that once. TCH, fine I get it already. My hand was released albeit a little violently. And she separated from this child who was pinned. My wrist hurt still. However I didn't need recovery magic. Fitz Sama, only because you went to all the trouble to show deference to him. However, you over there. Never again find yourself after dark wandering around the women's dorm. If I find you next time, there will be no forgiveness then. After throwing such a parting threat directed at me, she returned through the veranda window that she popped out from. The other girls also, after giving me a strong look, faded away. In a split second, all the women were gone from that place. Foo, honestly, Goriade san, not listening to a person's explanation first. Fitz breathed a sigh of relief, all the girls were seen off. Some time ago, the gorilla had been called Goriada. That strength and power satisfies having a name like that. The exact case of name is body. Fitz bowed to me. Sorry, it's because of me accidentally dropping that underwear. I wonder why this boy is in the women's dorm washing underwear. Perhaps it is because he has such confidence from being a guard of Princess Ariel that he may be specially permitted to attend to her here. He seems to be a sincere person. The feeling that he's harmless comes out from his whole body. He's reliable. He's young. A handsome guy wearing sunglasses. Rather, I get the feeling he's part of the pretty boy faction. It would be dangerous if he said he longed to be by my side. Would it be indecent of me if I said I wanted to lick your feet? No, Fitz Senpai isn't at fault either, I was rescued. To say rescued, if he were serious at all, they might have been injured. It was then that I understood the reason he panicked and seemed upset when he came to help. If I behaved violently, I would have injured the girls. He probably considered that. Although, in consideration of that, he still cared about me. However, I was suddenly surprised. So what now then? A. Eh? Un. Garia de San also said that after the sun sets, any boy who approaches the girl's dorm is no good. Is that so? But, something like that should be in the school regulations. It was a mutual arrangement between fellow students who lived in the dorms. At sunset this road isn't used by the boys, and instead the roundabout way is taken instead to the men's dorm. Is it called a local rule? Even though I didn't know, it would have been good if someone had taught me that from the start. For example, Zanoba, I didn't know about it. It couldn't be helped. Just be careful from now on, okay? Sure, it goes without saying. Even if it's daytime, I'm sure that I won't ever take this road again. Besides I don't need more hostile glances from any more people. To be surrounded by those devils, well I'll be alright if the number is kept limited to the count on one hand. The general trend of the looks women have given me is hostility. If I think about it, I tremble. Anyway, I was saved. If I can ever return the favor to Fitz Senpai please do not hesitate to ask me. It's fine already, I only did what was natural. What was natural? When I think, I remember all the times in the last few years where I have acquired all kinds of misunderstandings and false accusations. Starting from Beast Race, Paul, and Ersted. Maybe my face instills distrust. However, Fitz Senpai did not assume me to be a bad person. Instead, he even stood by my side. An even-handed position, though there might have been my mistake in that basis too. Even the matter with the examination as well, it's a nice thing. Fitz Senpai, a refreshing disposition, no grudge about the examination matter. Gave me advice in the library. Is well known in the academy, and isn't prideful. Properly helped before with the state of things. Externally he's a Shota, but he's a man of character. A Senpai, that's right. I will get him to allow me to call him Senpai. Fitz Senpai, and I will put a lot of respect in it when I call him Senpai. 
If it's Rudeus Kuhn, can you not get through it on your own power? Things aren't like that, really, thank you though, senpai. When I bowed, Fitz senpai was scratching his cheek with a crunchy sound while being embarrassed. Ahahaha, the way Rudeus Kuhn says his thanks, gives me a strange feeling. Eh, hey, why is that? When I asked why, Fitz embarrassingly laughed. It's a secret. To me, the loser, that smile left me completely shocked. Thus, my first day of school ended. That's it guys thank you for watching subscribe if you want more and don't forget to like the videos.